Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe, I'm back with another quick insight and so earlier on you saw me posting a video about celebrating the new updated MetaHuman creator, guess what? I've managed to finally create a MetaHuman out of a 3D scan. So what you're looking at right now is uh, my custom 3D model that I've created, my custom uh, metahuman on the right hand side the left hand side is the one the metahuman after the conversion process i'm going to run you through real quick <laughs> i was able to get to this point but i'm super excited and i hope you guys get excited as well once you get to your to the point where you've created your own custom metahuman i mean this character didn't exist before but now i have a character that has a rig a facial rig a body rig ready to animate and this is of course compatible with the air kit all right I found this free model online, which is a 3D scan, and I was able to download the textures as well as uh, the scan and import it into the Unreal Engine 5. You do need the Unreal Engine 5. It's not going to work in Unreal Engine 4.0 and uh, 4.27, unfortunately. This is uh, an Unreal Engine 5 solution. I imported the model into the Unreal Engine and applied the textures, and I just created a new level just to see what it would look like. And then I added the MetaHuman component, as you saw there. That component enables you to open up the editing part of it where you can import the scan and then do the markers. Okay. And one of the things that uh, you need to do is make sure you go and download the plugin for the, for the Unreal Engine Marketplace and then add it to your engine. Make sure you activate it, otherwise this is not going to work at all. All right. So at this point, I was able to find my model that I, I had uh, imported. I initially had struggled because I had I forgot <laughs> what I had named it. So make sure you remember what you named yours. I was just going back and forth because it was the first time I'm using it. And so finally, it was Lewis. I said, okay, there's the mesh. And I was able to load it. And one of the uh, things that they recommend by the Epic Games is that make sure you when you're setting up the FOV, Make sure it's like a, a long lens, like a 20 millimeter lens, so that it gives it like a flat look, and that is easier for the calibration. And then when you're done, uh, select the, the neutral pose over there. And there are two ways. I mean, this depending on how fast your machine is and also your internet connection, this process can take a long time. So if you're brave enough and you feel like you can, your internet uh, connection can hang, hold up to it, uh, you can then start on that. Now, I was able to freeze the camera initially. And in the tutorial that I watched, they recommend clicking on that camera icon in the bottom right, and it will free up after the processing. So remember, you see that at the top, the some of those menu options are not enabled. But that's because auto tracking has not been completed. And right now, because it's cloud-based, it's going to really rely on your Wi-Fi or your internet connection. For me, it took a minute. I mean, a long, not a minute. It took a little bit longer than two, three minutes to, for the, load, the trackers to be loaded. And that's why I think your bandwidth is going to be a big deal. So, I mean, I'm hoping that they finally create like an offline solution for this uh, for the meta human creator but i doubt they will do that because i know i have a feeling that uh, epic games wants to make some money out of this right now it's free totally free just like the unreal engine is free but i think they have designs of like selling some of the content i don't know maybe we'll be able to sell our own content like if you make clothing for the meta human and uh, maybe shoes and things like that. I imagine like a marketplace. Okay, now the trackers have been enabled and up at the top, the MetaHuman Identity Solve has been activated. And it's, it's, it, at this point is when you need actually to click it after it has, after those markers have shown up. Now, when I first tried it, uh, I had to click on the interface before those are, you know, the green markers showed up. But I went ahead and clicked that button after it, has, it had shown up and it was successful. Now I can rotate, I can unlock the camera, and there we go. It went from a 3D scan to this model that you see right there. Isn't that amazing? So even though the 3D scan that I brought in didn't have eyes, it doesn't seem to matter because when I when I do the, uh, like, look at the final model, I didn't have to add any eyes, right? So I did the solve, and now I needed to also select the body so that the uh the MetaHuman creator can know which body size or body template that you want to use. I wanted this is a female character, so I wanted to use like a medium body 
uh, for the female character. And then I went ahead and clicked on that and merged to MetaHuman. There are a few, somewhat poor, it had an error initially, but I kept trying because <laughs> I know this is uh, still in better stages. So I just, don't give up should you see that error, okay? And uh, waiting for that to process. And then finally, it says your MetaHuman is now available in Creator and Bridge. And that was exciting. I was like, okay, is it, is it really there? <laughs> I, I was a bit skeptical because right now you don't see anything. So I went ahead and saved my scene and uh, went ahead and created a new level because I wanted to uh, put that uh, new MetaHuman in here. And went to Bridge and wanted to see. So I went to my MetaHumans and there it is, right? So I click on Start MetaHuman Creator and I make sure you use the new one, not the old one. Because this is a MetaHuman. This MetaHuman is for the Unreal Engine 5. So I waited in line. Uh, this time it didn't take long. So I don't know, guys, where were you? <laughs> I thought that maybe there was, I was jumping the line, but I hope I didn't bump someone out of the way. But it was exciting. Maybe there weren't many people at the, at the time online. So this is the character, the custom MetaHuman that has been generated from my head scan to now having a full body of a character that is fully rigged. It didn't have a texture. All I had to do was click on that uh, color picker and it automatically generated the texture map. And now I could go through and adjust the texture itself that is built into the MetaHuman creator so that we have a beautiful skin. And I wanted the character to have like some kind of weathering, like some freckles. I went and adjusted the smooth, the like highlights to make it, give it a more natural look. Changed the eyes to green and the iris type. Uh, to gain, make, give, give the character personality. I went ahead, zoomed in just to see how well the textures were holding up. It looks great. It looks awesome. <laughs> and then over here, there's a. it's still showing it's a custom mesh. So because I wanted to keep a copy of this, I made a duplicate and unlocked it. Because when you unlock, then all the features of the MetaHuman creator are unleashed. And every now and then you may get like a, a scan a 3d head scan that has a skull cap on there because normally they're either protecting the hair of the part the actor and that this process right here enables you to adjust and fix those areas so you can blend in and out to the default metahuman creator and uh, same thing with the bottom part of the head and the different parts of it. So once you're happy, and I was happy at this point, I want to get some cool hair. And I noticed that this is a new hairstyle that they had added uh, and it has dynamics. So <laughs> it was exciting to be able to just add that and then go to the eyebrows, change them. Uh, just again, just going through and customizing the, mo the body as much as I wanted. Give, I know they had added a new t-shirt, so I put on a, a new t-shirt and some yoga pants and also gave us some um, cool shoes to match. And uh, this is now your home free at this point. And, and there are several things that are new here. For example, you can now add graphics on the t-shirt, which is really cool. So you have a logo. Now, I th this right here uh, doesn't have like an option yet. At least I don't see one where you can import your own logo, but hopefully that will be added. And maybe when you get to the Unreal Engine, then you can swap it out. So you can adjust the colors and when you're ready, uh, adjust the bottom colors as well. This type, at this point, you'll really be act being, uh, working as an art, dir art director, uh, creating the best looking uh, metahuman like you have. So I was super excited. And uh, I think, I mean, this is going to be really, really helpful in terms of uh, creating our own actors. And I think as we continue to create short films and we, we're going to end up needing a lot of different types of actors. And if you have like a, someone who is contributing to your film that you can scan their heads. Personally, I'm not yet very comfortable with scanning my head and submitting it to someone's server. So that's why I use this uh, free version of this uh, scan, 3D scan. So I recommend they try the same thing. And then when you're happy, if you want to create your own MetaHuman like yourself, Maybe you want to use the, the MetaHuman in the Metaverse, then go ahead and do that. So I am really, really excited about this uh, update and I hope you guys are. Thank you so much again for joining me. Uh, I hope that uh, this was a great insight. What a day to be alive, guys, as artists and animators and filmmakers. So, and if you're new to my channel, guys, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And uh, as always, dare to dream big, guys. Never give up on your dream. And I'm always, always praying for you. And especially for my friends out there who are going through war and also the pandemic. Stay strong, guys. Never, ever give up. And uh, it's amazing what uh, the technology is doing right now. I mean, there was a time when this took 
weeks and months to create a character like this but now the, you can just have a 3d scan import it and within a, uh, like a matter of uh, two or three hours you have a really cool looking custom character that looks great under different lighting conditions and that is incredible and that is worth investing so i highly highly encourage you guys please if you're a filmmaker if you you are interested in pitching something to netflix you know do please consider trying the Unreal Engine and also the MetaHuman Creator because that's where the ideas are born. Who knows? You might be able to get an episode that you can pitch and becomes a season, becomes a, a you know, a franchise of some kind. So I hope this insight was helpful, guys. Uh, again, it was an exciting day, you know, to be able to see this come on. <laughs> so I couldn't wait to try this out and I finally succeeded and look at how beautiful the character looks. So this was from beginning to end, from a 3D scan to a meta human. And I was able to close that out, look at, uh, test out some of the animation. And uh, she actually reminds me of, of Alita, Battle Angel. That's a, an idea. Oh, I, I might do something cool. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you again for joining me. Please stay blessed uh, and bye for now.